Hey folks, this is Richard Ross with Access Learning Zone. I just want to bring your attention to the best Microsoft Access tutorial series that you're probably not watching. Now, I can tell from my YouTube analytics that a lot of you are skipping over my fitness database series. And from the feedback I've heard, it's because you don't care about tracking calories and food and workouts and all that stuff. And that's fine. But here's the thing. Fitness is just the backdrop. The real focus is learning how to build a professional quality access database. And I'm covering techniques in this series that I've never shown anywhere else. So here's some of the cool stuff you're missing. We're keeping a daily food log, right? Now, normally with default values, they get set as soon as the form loads, right? That, that default value in the time on a new record is set like right now. But what if you open the form and you sit here for 15, 20 minutes, and then you finally come in here and type something in, right? Lunch. Notice as soon as I started typing, that time was updated. So that's one of the tricks I'm showing. We got some custom navigation buttons. Go back and forth a day or a whole week, right? Or jump back to today's date. We've got filter boxes across the tops of the forms. So if you want to filter this by, let's say, cereal, right? Or if you want to you know, filter this by, let's say, dairy products, and then you're looking for provolone, right? This is handy for any kind of database. I don't care what you're building. I show you how to group stuff together. So you can take multiple food items and put them together into a meal. Think of it like building products in a business database. I used to build computers. So you could take a hard drive, a monitor, a memory, right? Build a computer configuration out of that and save that as an inventory item. Same technique applies here. So here, for example, you got my fish, rice, and veggies, and it's made up of a can of fish, cup of rice, some vegetables, and some olive oil. See? And that's, that's bundled together as a meal item. In our food log, I show you how to copy a whole day's worth of stuff to another day. A lot of the times you eat the same stuff, like every day, you just make a kind of change to it, right? Same thing with like an order database. You want to copy some, another order, or you want to have a whole set configuration of stuff. You want to copy somewhere else. Watch this. You hit copy. You put the target date in. You hit OK. Boom. And it copied it to this day, right? There's yesterday. That's a pretty cool trick. And here's another favorite of mine, a search as you type combo box. So look at this. This has a whole list of food items in it, right? Let's say you're looking for just chicken. C-H-I-C-K. Well, that's no big deal. Combo boxes normally act that way, but look what happened. Look what happened. It didn't have to start with chicken. This one had chicken of the sea in it. See? So I could type in, for example, just dairy. D-A-I-R. And look at that. It's got all the dairy items. That's cool. We just did that one today. So yeah, fitness is the example but these are real world database development techniques that you can apply to any project. And if you're skipping this series, you're missing out on the best Microsoft Access tutorial series that I put together so far, at least for tech help. So it's, it's really good. And we just finished part 29 today and a lot of you aren't watching it and you should be watching it. It's really cool stuff. So check it out. I'll put a link down below. Hope to see you in class. Live long and prosper, my friends.